I'm Satine Phoenix, and this is Larry Hamilton, and you're watching us on Follow Me and Die. January 2014 was the 40th anniversary of the publication of the original Dungeons & Dragons. To celebrate, the D20 Dark Ages blog hosted a D&D 40th anniversary blog challenge for the 28 days of February 2014. I blogged my answers to those questions every day of February 2014. You can see the description below for a link to my blog articles. Since 2017 is my 40th anniversary of playing D&D, it was sometime in March or April 1977, I thought I'd do a video series, my D&D 40th anniversary video challenge, using those same questions from 2014. 2017 is also the 40th anniversary of the Holmes Basic Blue Box. Hello and welcome to day five of my D&D 40th anniversary video challenge. Today is your first character that went to 20th level or the highest possible level in a given edition. For me, that character would be my favorite character again, Griswold, is a half-elf fighter cleric magic user. After his last adventuring, he made it to 10th level cleric, 10th level fighter, and 11th level magic user. That makes him pretty powerful. It took a long time to do that, years, and he's a lot of fun. I'd really love to be able to get him out and go after the orc tribes that he wants to finish taking care of that have been giving him trouble, but uh, he's basically retired now. I haven't run a character that's earned its way to a high level. I've had some one-shots and stuff with some high-level characters. Currently, in my weekly AD&D game on Roll20, I play on Wednesday nights. My Dwarven Fighter Thorpus, with AD&D sticking to the level advancement rules, he was maxed out for a while at 7th level because you have to have a 17th strength to make it to 18th, to 8th level and a, an 18th strength to make it to 9th level. He found a way to boost his strength, so after being maxed at the maximum experience points for 7th level, he finally was able to train for 8th level, so now he's working on the slog to 9th level and he'll be maxed out if he lives long enough and if they save the world. I haven't had too many characters I've worked up to really high level. Most of my characters would get to about 4th or 5th level, a 6th level for one, and just kind of fizzle out, or for whatever reason we never played that particular thing again. In my brother's campaign world, one of my characters is a 6th level magic user, and all the people that were playing are not available to play, and we just kind of froze in this scenario and didn't go back. I've got several first level characters I've started in my brother's campaign world and not gotten very far with advancing them. So it, it just depends on the game and if it's got the oomph to last a while. The DCC campaign I was playing in here locally for about a year or so had a character I think finally, well, made it to first level, I think well on the way to second level if they live that long. The powers of the levels in DCC is quite a bit more powerful than the levels in other games. So I don't know. We'll have to see if I have another character that can survive long enough to go up in levels. So what's the character that you've had that's made it to the highest level and how long did that take? Thanks for watching and game on. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, tell all your friends, and please comment below. We can share in the conversation together. Tell me about your introduction to D&D, and your answers to these challenge questions, if you will. You can find me online at my blog, followmeanddie.com, G+, Twitter, and Facebook. I have a Cafe Press store where you can buy t-shirts and hoodies with the Follow Me and Die logo by none other than Satine Phoenix. And just remember, with all of my sites, you don't have a choice, because it's Follow Me and die.